So the next speaker of the session is Dr. Hongnan Sun. Dr. Sun is an associate professor in uh, the Potato uh, Food Science Research Team, um, the Institute of Food Science and Technology, uh, which at the Chinese Acad Academy of Agricultural Sciences. And she's also the vice president of the Potato Branch of China Grain and Oil Society, a deputy secretary general of the National Potato Stable Food Industri Industrialization Science and Technology Innovation Alliance. Um, Dr. Soon is mainly engaged in the research and application of emerging processing and comprehensive utilization technology of root and tuber crops. And um, the talk uh, is titled Influence of Different Hydrocolloids on dough thermomechanical properties and in vitro starch digestibility of gluten free steamed bread based on potato flour. Thank you. Hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to make the presentation here. The title of my presentation is Influence of Different Hydrocolloids on Dough Thermomechanical Properties and In Vitro Starch Digestibility of Gluten Free Steamed Bread Based on Potato Flour. Steamed bread is the staple food of China and has been consumed for at least 2,000 years. Nowadays, steamed bread has been gaining considerable popularity in many countries. Various studies have characterized this type of food because that the acrylamide content and the loss of soluble amino acids of steamed bread are less than baked bread. Gluten is essential to form the strong protein network required for the desired volume and the structure of the steamed bread. However, the intake of gluten might lead to iliac disease. The estimated prevalence of this disease is about 1% of the general population, and it affects persons of any age, race, and ethnic group. The only effective treatment for patients with coeliac diseases is a strict gluten-free diet through their lifespan. At present, gluten-free products mainly contain starch, rice flour, corn flour, and are characterized by an excessive intake of carbohydrates and a reduced intake of protein, dietary fiber, vitamins, and minerals, which worsens the nutritionality and balanced diet of coeliac sufferers. To fulfill the expectations of coeliac disease sufferers, non-traditional flowers, such as root and tuber flowers, are gaining popularity in the production of gluten-free foodstuffs with major nutritional quality. Potato is the first most important food crops in the world after rice, wheat, and maize. Potato protein has a balanced amino acid composition. Additionally, the content of vitamin and mineral is in food of potato flour are higher than in wheat flour. Furthermore, potatoes contain other phytochemicals such as polyphenols. Therefore, potato flour addition into gluten-free steamed bread would enhance the nutritional and functional qualities of gluten-free products. However, the preparation of steamed bread without gluten may pose serious technological problems. Hydrocolloids have a wide application as additives to improve the quality of gluten-free breads. The functional effects of hydrocolloids stem from their ability to modify dough rheology and keep qualities of baked products. Although researchers have studied the effects of hydrocolloids on gluten-free bread production, there is little information about gluten-free steamed bread based on potato flour. And it is extremely difficult to predict the real effect of hydrocolloids on steamed bread quality because of differences in applied ingredients, structure of hydrocolloids, dough preparation and making procedures, and so on. Therefore, the aim of this study was to assess the effects of different hydrocolloids on those thermomechanical properties in vitro starch digestibility and expected glycemic index of gluten-free steamed bread based on potato flour. Results show that hydrocolloids addition significantly increased the water absorption of potato dough. So is the uh, gelatinization temperature of potato dough. The starch granules of control group seem to be scattered and exposed. With the hydrocolloids addition, the potato starch granules seem to be wrapped and uh, uh, wrapped by a tight adhering hydrocolloids layer. 
SDS page showed that the density of potato protein bands was decreased by hydrocolloid addition. The reason might be that higher molecular weight uh, complexes formed between protein hydrocolloids or protein protein, thus changes the protein solubility. Steam bread with hydrocolloids presented higher volume and lower hardness. The rapidly digestible starch and estimated glycemic index were significantly decreased. In conclusion, HPMC was the optimal hydrocolloid for potato steam bread making. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sun. Um, it's great to see that with the help of, of potatoes, celiacs uh, might still be able to enjoy the traditional Chinese steam buns.